Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, today I'm doing a review on this Kismil 1500 watt oil filled radiator. Uh, I actually have it right over here uh, next to my old heater, which is now probably about 10 15 years old. I bought it when I was in high school and um, it was about $30. Never really did a good job of heating up the room. Uh, you know, it's got the coils and whatnot, and um, you know. I, I still have it because I paid for it, but I never really uh, was satisfied with it. And so I did some research and I looked into these oil filled radiator heaters and uh, they're pretty great. Uh, so let's take a look here. So this is the product on Amazon. I think I paid about $55 uh, maybe two, two years ago or so. Um, I don't like to do product reviews unless I've had experience with the product and kind of tell you the ups and downs of what it is. So uh, I'm going to give you my take on this. So right now it's uh, it's a little small, you know, it's up to my knee. So in reference, there's my knee. So I'm about 5'11". Um, you know, it's, it's, it's small, but it's mighty. Like it will heat a room that's about 10 feet by 20 feet uh, comfortably. Uh, it'll keep that room warm. Uh, we don't really have high ceilings here at our house. They're probably maybe 10 feet, uh, 10 feet tall. So just keep that in mind. Um, so, you know, they say uh, suitable for personal space, which is great. It's very true. Um, portable and convenient. I think it's great. Uh, it's a great heater, but honestly, it's a bit of a pain to move around because all you have is this handle. And if it's hot and you want to move this into another room, it, it kind of sucks because you, you, you have to pull it and drag it on the, on the little crappy wheels that it comes with, um, which, you know, it, it's just, it is what it is. But, you know, there's no other place to really grab it. So, uh, so what I end up doing is I just kind of have to lift it like this because the wheels suck and uh, I just take it to the next room. Um, so yeah, uh, but besides that, you know, I think that's really the only issue that I see with this. Uh, I extended out the cord to show you, you know, about how long this is. So I would say this is about, um, maybe seven, seven feet of cord. Uh, it's got this little area here that you can wrap it around so you can keep it tucked away if you want, uh, or if you need a shorter cord. Um, if we look at the specs, it'll probably tell us how long the cord is, but yeah, it says, uh, low heating 600 watts, medium heating 900 watts, 1500 watts. Um, I would say those are those are pretty good. High heating does a great job of heating a room that's about 10 feet by 20 feet. Uh, 900 is is better for like a 10 10 by 10 foot room, uh, just because it it does get a little toasty if you just keep it on 1500 watts. Um, and then 600, I really don't have it on 600. So, what for so. This would be 600, 900, and then 1500. And then here's like a little thermostat that you can kind of adjust. Uh, so I, I assume that, you know, if you want to go into uh, 1500 and just have it be a little hot, you know, maybe to be the equivalent of 900, I guess you could do that. Um, but these are the only two knobs that exist on the heater. Uh, you've got this power button here that does turn on when you plug it in. And so, uh, you know, I'll show you what it does when it's plugged in. Um, give me one sec. Alrighty, so we're plugged in. Now you can see the the light is on. Here, let's turn this off. Uh, so you'll notice that the light stays on even though uh, it's on, it's powered off. Just something to note. And you know, it, it doesn't turn on, but I would say that is a little confusing sometimes when you want to make sure that it's off. This stays on it's just uh, you know my wife kind of worries about that on occasion um, and yeah so you just flip it and you'll hear a click when the heating mechanism turns on and that's about it and then you'll your room will be warm probably in the next five ten minutes uh, it does a great job um, it also talks about the automatic overheat that's true if you tip it over it does uh, turn itself off so here let's do this Yep, so we just tipped it and turned off. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, you're always constantly um, worrying, you know, about, you hear stories about houses catching fire and, you know, with this, it uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, so there you go. That's how that works. Uh, 
and keep you away from the cold. Yeah, I mean, it, it keeps you it keeps you warm. So overall, I would say that this is a great little heater. I wish that I had purchased this first compared to what I had uh, previously. Uh, you know, this one. I just keep this in the garage now because it's a it's a good backup. But honestly, it, it just it's always on, and it doesn't heat the room well, and I don't recommend it. If you if you see this, I would say stay away from it. Uh, if you see one of these, I would say go for it. Um, the other cool thing is that the thermostat turns on, or the uh, the heating element turns on and off based off of how hot it gets. So that saves you saves you power. What I like to do is I like to take this into a room if it's just my wife and I just hanging out and we just hang out in that room and uh, we don't have to heat up the whole house. Uh, that's the other thing that's great about these because yeah, I sometimes don't think it makes sense that the entire house is you know 70 degrees and uh, 50 degree weather uh, when you know we're just in one little room so uh, that's just something that comes to mind for me. Uh, when this came in the box it didn't come with the wheel set up so you have to set up the wheels. All it is is a metal piece here and you attach the wheels to this plate, flip it around and you put it on. So just remember that the, that the, uh, the plate that has the right angle goes this way when you install it and uh, that's it. It's pretty easy. You can set it up yourself probably in less than 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, I would say that this is probably um, four stars out of five. The only thing that sucks is probably the wheels because they're really just, you know, they're, they're really cheap plastic wheels. Um, I'm looking to buy some different types of wheels to put on this and kind of pimp out my, my little space heater, which is uh, <laughs> just something that I like to do with my things. So, uh, so yeah, I hope this review was helpful to you, anyone who was looking to purchase one of these. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the video comments and and that's it. Um, on one last note, I will say is um, if this is on for an extended period of time in the room, um, it does get a little dry. Um, I would say that that's kind of maybe the standard with what happens with most heaters in general, but I did notice that the room gets a little stuffy and we uh, end up opening a door or something so that we get a little bit more moisture in the room because it just gets, it just gets very, uh, very dry. So uh, just something to look out for. Um, trying to think if there's anything else to to bring up, but I don't think there is. So uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this helps you make an informed decision on what you're purchasing, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.